That's the thirteenth hole. Ballesteros, who has played a superb second shot, has this little putt here for a birdie. Taken within three shots of uh, Bernhard Langer. No. no, and so many have misread the putt going down that green. Always imagine it will come off the uh, high fairway side on the left, but it, in fact it turns towards it. And Sevi, who had a wonderful 67 yesterday, dropped a shot immediately in the first hole today, but got it back at the fifth with a birthday, a birdie, and another one at the ninth and then started back with a two at a tenth. So rather disappointing that we joined him when he just missed the putt. Straight in the middle and he stays at seven under. Savvy playing with Ken Brown, who's certainly not going to be with us tomorrow. Ken is eight over and Mike Harwood is three over. Two levels and a very severe front apron to the screen. Anyone who under clubs will find the ball about 50 yards mm. short of the green when it finishes rolling. Sevi with a six iron. Incredible the power. Just look at this. A lovely, a lovely viewing place. It always fascinates me as he starts the backswing. How you see the the left hand just lowers a little and starts the wrist action into action. in the ass. No, I think he's landed on the slope I talked about. It would... Now you see the ball actually hasn't gone down uh, 50 yards as I said but it's an optical illusion. It's much further down the hill than it appears. So the six iron really Steros is uh, very well he's working on it now just watch the left hand dips a little here and the wrist start to break very sharply there goes down the left wrist and up comes the club almost out of plane and you begin to wonder is he going to turn enough but then he is so supple just watch how the shoulders complete the turn they go fully into it the shaft of the club almost at horizontal and pointing towards the target now watch how the legs start the transfer of weight there they go in and down come the hands, the shaft, slightly to the inside. And he didn't quite stay behind the ball. You can see this right shoulder struggling through, the hands going off flatter than they normally do. I don't think he quite got the full meat of the club into this shot. Nevertheless, even when they're not quite right, it still looks superb. And that gives you an idea of just how steep the slope is at the 14th. And it really is that that makes the, uh, the shot difficult to judge. We could compare... Uh, Ballesteros' uh, second shot has this awkward little... Not just the rise that he's got to play over first. That's not the one that worries him... Uh, you can see a lovely view of it and that's a nice spot to watch this shot from and there is the bank in the middle of the green that causes the problem he's on it now <laughs> it's a very good shot but he missed a putt of a similar length at the last hole now we've all been saying that he's a, a much happier Ballesteros much more relaxed Ballesteros surveying and stalking the putt at the 14th. He's made such a wonderful run of uh, figures in recent holes. He mustn't allow this one to slip past.
nice, this trap. A very good recovery from a, from a strange tee shot. He'll be happy to get out of that with a three and not bad. Cameraman back there looking into the sun. Now, Ballesteros. Could do with a couple of pars and then a couple of birdies and he'd be right in contention. And that is very interesting. He's hitting the ball so much higher uh, this season. Ballesteros, second shot at the 15th. Now he's hit it as far up that side as he dared and uh, a lot of backspin, good shot. At the 15th, Ballesteros, the spot for a birdie to go to eight under and join uh, Olazabal, who has just gone into that position at the 12th. Again, very close, but not in, and so he will do no better than the par four and stay at seven under. Stand still, please. Yes, uh, anxious uh, spectators rushing to the 16th to get a good view of the next hole, and they tend to forget those fellows who still have to hole out. Savi Ballesteros on the 16th tee. Three holes for him left to go. And a little fortunate there. Crept over the corner of the bunker that guards the left side of the fairway. <laughs> and he knows he's lucky. A little fortunate there. And Savi Ballesteros is second at the 16th. Light rough, but no problem. A shot of... 150 yards and 45 yards. Then middle left. Up the club right. And a reasonable chance for birdie. Ballesteros. Up for a birdie at the 16th. This to join Riley and Lazabal at 8 under. Ooh. Difficult green to read this one. It's a very crumpled surface in terms of uh, humps and hollows. And there's a couple of drains and Hobart's running through it. He's only done very little. And he might have expected so much having done a tremendous job. Over in the United States. Sorry for his far now he's become a little bit vulnerable to these just one or two but I think the greens are too good for him to miss this <laughs> safely in playing well seven under and a couple of birdie chances still left to him Ballesteros driving at the 17th one danger is down the left side and it does have it. And you remember Lyle. Lyle flirted with there. There he is. It's the old Fred Daly route. Look at that. Coming round. That's a majestic shot. Oh, not many of them hit as far. Watching from the way those balls have run, I fancy that if Sevi gets the right sort of shot, he could he could reach with as little as a four iron. almost in view of the green there's the camera down there on this bit of scaffolding just past Sevi now there it is and the big tree is more or less the center of the green well he's hit a high one but I suspect it'll still bounce a bit hard when it lands here it comes Oh, yes. 
That's more like it. That's the Seve we know and love. Cracking shot. Just to drive in a four. Mm. If you can pop that in and get a four at the last, that will do him no harm at all. <laughs> Out of bounds, all down the left-hand side. And two of the players, Brown and Harwood, through the green and Seve about 12 feet away in two. Well, we had a little more time that I <laughs> didn't realise we did have. Not an eagle putt, but uh, it looks a safe birdie. So Seve will go eight under. <laughs>